Asemla, Vastlakukul, Laskia Aspola or Fastlagsbul, Fastelevinsbul is a traditional sweet roll made in various forms in Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Norway, Denmark, the Faroe Islands, Iceland, Latvia, and Lithuania associated with Lent and especially Shrove Tuesday in most countries, Shrove Monday in Denmark, parts of southern Sweden and Iceland or Sunday of Fasteleven in Norway. In Sweden it is most commonly known as just Semlor, plural of Semla. In the southern parts of Sweden, as well as in Swedish-speaking Finland, it is also called fastlagsbolar, plural of fastlagsbol. In Norway and Denmark it is called fastelevensbol. In Iceland, it's known as a bola, and served on balutagor. Semla served in a bowl of hot milk is petbag. Etymology the name semla, plural, semlor, is a loan word from German semel, originally deriving from the Latin simula, meaning flower, itself a borrowing from Greek semidalis, semidalis, groats, which was the name used for the finest quality wheat flour or semolina. In the southernmost part of Sweden, Scania, and by the Swedish-speaking population in Finland, they are known as fastlagsbul. In Denmark and Norway they are known as fastelevensbol, fastlegen and fasteleven being the equivalent of Shrove Tuesday. In Scanian, the feast is also called fasilan. In Finnish they are known as laskia Aspola, in Latvian as veha kukas, and in Estonian as vastlakukul. Sweden, Finland Today, the Swedish Finnish semla consists of a cardamom spiced wheat bun which has its top cut off, and is then filled with a mix of milk and almond paste, topped with whipped cream. The cut off top serves as a lid and is dusted with powdered sugar. Today it is often eaten on its own, with coffee or tea. Some people still eat it in a bowl of hot milk. In Finland, the bun is often filled with strawberry or raspberry jam instead of almond paste, and bakeries in Finland usually offer both versions. Many bakeries distinguish between the two by decorating the traditional bun with almonds on top, whereas the jam-filled version has powdered sugar on top. In Finland Swedish, semla means a plain wheat bun, used for bread and butter, and not a sweet bun. At some point Swedes grew tired of the strict observance of Lent, added cream and almond paste to the mix and started eating semla every Tuesday between Shrove Tuesday and Easter. Every year, at around the same time that the bakeries fill with semlor, the Swedish newspapers start to fill with semla taste tests. Panels of experts dissect and inspect tables full of semlor to find the best in town. Over the years bakeries have challenged the traditional semla, hoping to create the next big buzz. In 2015, the semelwrap took the Swedes by storm. Instead of the original semla bun, the dough is rolled out flat, filled with almond paste and whipped cream, then folded and eaten as a wrap. The pastry truly went viral in both social media and in several Swedish news feeds and it was not long before a horde of other bakeries around Sweden tried to copy the idea, hoping to beat the sales record. In Finland and Estonia the traditional dessert predates Christian influences. Laskiaisununtai and Laskiaististai were festivals when children and youth would go sledding or downhill sliding on a hill or a slope to determine how the crop would yield in the coming year. Those who slid the farthest were going to get the best crop. Hence the festival is named after the act of sliding or sledding downhill, Laskia. Nowadays Laskiainen has been integrated into Christian customs as the beginning of Lent before Easter. Norway Fastelevensbol consists of a cardamom spiced wheat bun which has its top cut off, and is then filled with whipped cream, topped with jam. The cut-off top serves as a lid and is dusted with powdered sugar. The buns are served at Sunday of Fasteleven, but were previously associated with Shrove Tuesday. Denmark, Iceland the version sold in Danish and Icelandic bakeries on or around Shrove Monday is rather different, made from puff pastry and filled with whipped cream, a bit of jam and often with icing on top. At home people may bake a version more similar to a usual wheat roll, mixing plain yeast dough with raisins, sockade and sometimes candied bitter orange peel. In Icelandic Shrove Monday is called Balutagor, Bun Day, named after the pastry. History the oldest version of the semla was a plain bread bun, eaten in a bowl of warm milk. 
In Swedish this is known as hetvag, from Middle Low German heat wedgen, hot wedges, or German heiss wecken, hot buns, and falsely interpreted as hot wall. The semla was originally eaten only on Shrove Tuesday, as the last festive food before Lent. However, with the arrival of the Protestant Reformation, the Swedes stopped observing a strict fasting for Lent. The semla in its bowl of warm milk became a traditional dessert every Tuesday between Shrove Tuesday and Easter. Today, semlor are available in shops and bakeries every day from shortly after Christmas until Easter. Each Swede consumes on average four to five bakery-produced semlor each year, in addition to any that are homemade. King Adolf Frederick of Sweden died of digestion problems on February 12, 1771 after consuming a meal consisting of lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, smoked herring and champagne, which was topped off by 14 helpings of hetvag, semla, the king's favorite dessert. This was the suite chosen to represent Finland in the Café Europe initiative of the Austrian Presidency of the European Union, on Europe Day 2006. See also Finnish cuisine Swedish cuisine List of buns List of pastries References